Psalm 18 begins with praise of God, then touches briefly upon the woes that have befallen the psalmist, and then moves into a most wonderful description of the way in which Almighty God becomes present. The earth trembled and quaked. At the brightness of his presence, his clouds removed, hailstones and coals of fire. Later on in this long psalm, some of the power and glory of God overflows into the psalmist's own life. He maketh my feet like heart's feet, and setteth me up on high. Thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou shalt throw down mine enemies under me. And right at the end come these words. For this cause I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the Gentiles, and sing praises unto thy name. It's a stirring reminder that God's blessings and protection should always lead to heartfelt and public thanksgiving and praise. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my stony rock and my defence, my Saviour, my God, and my might, in whom I will trust my buckler and the horn also of my salvation and my refuge. I will call upon the Lord, which is worthy to be praised, so shall I be safe from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the overflowings of ungodliness made me afraid. The pains of hell came about me, the snares of death overtook me. In my trouble I will call upon the Lord and complain unto my God. So shall he hear my voice out of his holy temple, and my complaint shall come before him, it shall enter even into his ears. The earth trembled and quaked, the very foundations also of the hills shook and were removed because he was wroth. There went a smoke out in his presence and a consuming fire out of his mouth so that coals were kindled at it. He bowed the hands also and came down, and it was dark under his feet. He rode upon the cherubims and did fly. He came flying upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place, his pavilion round about him with dark water and thick clouds to cover him. At the brightness of his presence his clouds removed, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered out of heaven, and the highest gave his thunder hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered at them. He cast forth lightnings and destroyed them. The springs of waters were seen, and the foundations of the round world were discovered at thy chiding, O Lord at the blasting of the breath of thy displeasure. He shall send down from on high to fetch me, and shall take me out of many waters. He shall deliver me from my strongest enemy, and from them which hate me, for they are too mighty for me. They prevented me in the day of my trouble, but the Lord was my upholder. He brought me forth also into a place of liberty. He brought me forth even because he had a favor unto me. 
The Lord shall reward me after my righteous dealing. According to the cleanness of my hands shall he recompense me. Because I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not forsaken my God as the wicked doth. For I have an eye unto all his laws and will not cast out his commandments from me. I was also uncorrupt before him and assured mine own wickedness. Therefore shall the Lord reward me after my righteous dealing, and according unto the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the holy thou shalt be holy, and with a perfect man thou shalt be perfect. With the clean thou shalt be clean, and with the froward thou shalt learn frowardness. For thou shalt save the people that are in adversity, and shalt bring down the high looks of the proud. Thou also shalt light my candle. The Lord my God shall make my darkness to be light. For in thee I shall discomfort an host of men, and with the help of my God I shall leap over the wall. The way of God is an undefiled way, The word of the Lord also is tried in the fire. He is the defender of all them that put their trust in him. For who is God but the Lord? Or who hath any strength except our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength of war and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like heart's feet, and setteth me upon high. He teacheth mine hands to fight, and mine arms shall break even a bow of steel. Thou hast given me the defence of thy salvation. Thy right hand also shall hold me up, and thy loving correction shall make me great. Thou shalt make room enough under me for to go, that my footsteps shall not slide. I will follow upon mine enemies and overtake them. Neither will I turn again till I have destroyed them. I will smite them that they shall not be able to stand, but fall under my feet. Thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou shalt throw down mine enemies under me. Thou hast made mine enemies also to turn their backs upon me, and I shall destroy them that hate me. They shall cry, but there shall be none to help them. Yea, even unto the Lord shall they cry, but he shall not hear them. I will beat them as small as the dust before the wind. I will cast them out as the clay in the streets. Thou shalt deliver me from the strivings of the people and thou shalt make me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. 
As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. But the strange children shall dissemble with me. The strange children shall fail and be afraid out of their prisons. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my strong helper, and praised be the God of my salvation. Even the God that seeth that I be avenged, and subdueth the people unto me. It is he that delivereth me from my cruel enemies, and setteth me up above mine adversaries. Thou shalt rid me from the wicked man. For this cause will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the Gentiles, and sing praises unto thy name. Great prosperity giveth he unto his king, and showeth loving kindness unto David his anointed, and unto his seed for evermore.